Hello and what's going on? I'm L Director. This is L Director Vision, and you are watching Indie Rebel Hollywood Effects without the Hollywood budget. Today we have another DaVinci Resolve quick tip, and this one involves the Fusion page here inside of Resolve. And so let me set the stage for you. You've locked picture on your film, or maybe you're still in the process of it, but you probably should have locked picture by now or been close to it. And you went ahead and jumped into the Fusion page to deal with the green screen effect here on a shot. So here's our green screen. And then you do all this work and here's your final output. And everything's looking nice and clean. You've got an easy to read node graph. Everything's working great. And then you jump back to the edit page and you're like, what the heck? Where, where's my shot? It's black. Why can't I see anything right now? And this is a problem I myself have had before because, you know, I'm used to working in software where you render things out in advance ahead of time and things. And, you know, I thought, well, I thought the whole point of Resolve is that you do your edit, you jump into Fusion. Hey, it's still working here. You jump back over to the edit page. Now it's not working. What is going on? And I literally pulled my hair out for two days trying to figure out what was going on until I realized something very simple. While my brain knows that, hey, I go to the end of a flowchart to figure out which is the final node in the sequence, Fusion and Resolve do not. You have to tell it which node will be the final node in the sequence. And the way we do that is with the media out node. So I'm going to go ahead and go shift space, and I'm going to type in media. And I'm going to add a media out node right down here. And if I view it, nothing changes. Except now when I jump back into the edit page, ah, there we go. Everything's working now the way I would expect it to. This is all red, showing that it knows it's a fusion shot. And as we can see, it's now starting to pre-render and cache up that clip for me. Fantastic. And uh, let's explain a little bit more just real quick about how this works. I'm going to just quickly drag on another instance of the green screen shot. We're going to jump into the green screen shot. We jump into fusion, creating a new fusion uh, clip with this. And we can see by default, it does create that media out node. But oftentimes, if you're anything like me, we have a tendency to delete that node because it gets in the way while we're working. If I go ahead and bring that node back, and let's say I go ahead and I bring in you know, my background, so I start doing all sorts of crazy stuff. I'm merging this on top of the background down here, and uh, you know, we'll add our delta key here and things. And I'm literally just flying through this here to give you guys a really quick, stupid idea of how this might work. And you know, it's, it's a pain in the butt to remember to keep connecting this thing. And so what I've gotten in the habit of doing is right away from the get-go, delete the media out. I go through and I, I do all my effects work in compositing. Uh, maybe I'm doing this. Yep, that looks good. And we had a blur to it. Oh yeah, fantastic. This is gonna be my masterpiece right there. And then at the end, you add a media out node and now we can jump back to the edit page and everything updates right there just the way it should. If I jump back over to this other shot, we can see it's working and uh, now playing and doing everything that's supposed to do. So that is your DaVinci Resolve quick tip for the day, making sure that whenever you are in the Fusion page, that when you're ready to go back to the edit page, that you add that media out node. If you're getting those black screens like this, it means that you don't have a media out node in there. That's the very first thing that you should check. So that is it for this little quick tip. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm L Director. This is L Director Vision, and you've been watching Indie Rebel, Hollywood effects without the Hollywood budget. We'll see you next time.